cool, the stage is yours. There he is. By the way, you can come a bit more into the middle and pitch to the audience if you want. Okay? Sure. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Diego. I am from Switzerland, and I'm co-founder of GOSL, where we aim to become pioneers in combining productivity with artificial intelligence. Why is this an exciting field to be in? It's because there's something really interesting going on in the productivity market right now. Because more and more people are organizing themselves with digital tools. So that means more and more data is available. Now with recent breakthroughs in technology, such as artificial intelligence, it is now possible to analyze this data, um, and which grows a complete new segment with enormous potential, which is productivity assistance. And with Gossip, we have the unique opportunity to become a pioneer in this sector. Now what makes us different than other tools? Well, other tools, focus on helping you organize yourself better, we focus on taking over organizing for you. Our secret sauce is sophisticated intelligence that gets to know the users, their routines, how they prioritize their day, how they plan their day, when they work on what, on what, etc. And then use mental health concepts and productivity methods to actively guide them so that they have everything under control and get their things done. So in a nutshell, Gossip is a productivity assistant that gets to know its users and takes over organizing. And with this, we position ourselves as a fully capable assistant, but still for an affordable price, so that we can attract as many users as possible and learn from them. Our business model is an industry standard subscription-based premium model of $5 per month. And with this, we plan to have 5 million active users by summer 2025, which will generate around 2 million MRR. Sounds great, right? But how do we get there? How do we get the users? Through our early adopters, people with ADHD. Why? Because people with ADHD, they have an extreme case of struggling to organize themselves with everything under control and get things stuck. Plus, there's a great potential to go viral. Because three to five percent of all people, all adults, actually are diagnosed with ADHD. Plus, they have a really strong connected and uh, well-connected community and there's no specific tool for them out there. And when we went out there, we were welcomed with open arms by the community. Just a short amount of time, um, we were able to establish collaborations and are now putting together a dedicated team to grow this community. Starting as two founders, my co-founders down there, uh, with a complementary skill set and a deep uh, knowledge of expertise uh, in artificial intelligence, we have been able to put together a great team in the past years, but we're far from being done. Our goal is to conquer the world, and we also want to use this stage to find like-minded people uh, that want to build something great with us. So if you're one of these people, please reach out to us, let's have a talk, and let's meet. Thank you very much. Thank you, Diego. Any questions from the audience? Sure. I'd like to understand a little bit more about that about the um, underlying technology, because basically it would require you to work across quite a range of devices, I suppose, in order to gather enough information about what I need to do. Kind of. We have our own tool. It works like a, just a general task management tool where you can order your task, where you, uh, you can sync into your calendar, and there we can actually gather and then make all the integrations from other tools. So we can connect to all the Google Calendar things, we can connect, connect all the other task management tools. So you have everything in one place, actually, which already helps the people. Does it answer the question, or? Uh, yeah, to an to, to extent. I mean, I was well, thinking that so we should be able to um, place an order for whatever single original coffee, which I always do when I use up my, my last bag. Here's the challenge. Sometimes I do it on my phone, sometimes I do it from my computer, and I absolutely don't have a camera for it. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's what I meant by the complexity. But maybe that's just a step down the line. It, it is a step down the line. Right now it's, it's basically how you organize yourself, but that's, this is where we can go, and we also connect, of course, uh, with the desktop version. 
but can you walk us through like an initial user loop? So if I download this application, um, what's the kind of immediate value that I can feel that's different from any other to-do list? Yeah, so, so the problem with other to-do lists is that you need so much self-discipline <laughs> because you just download it and, and you feel, oh, I want to organize myself, so it's like going to the gym and then 30, 30 days later, and you, you're quitting again. And so what we try is that when you get into the tool, you can first of all just put in all your things, and there you already get the value that Gossip actually prioritizes the things for you, and so you don't have to do the work and do all the decision making. Then we have um, not just in the tool, but we actively um, interact with the user, because it's a little assistant uh, that, that guides you through the day, motivates you, uh, is in touch with you, and this is how we want the users to stick, so that they don't need so much self discipline to go into the tool by themselves. I think we I think we need to speed up to the next one. Okay. Actually, but if it's a quick question, it's okay. And that's a quick one. How do you prioritize for a user? Like how do you determine better than the user that what task is more important? That's where the artificial intelligence comes in because it's a very subjective thing. Uh, some organize or some prioritize because the deadline is coming closer, some because they usually Monday morning in the office. So if you're in the office Monday morning and you want to see different tasks on top of your list, then you're at home on Thursday night. Uh, because you, you're usually doing something else. So this is one way how you work. Okay, big round of applause for Gossip. Thank you so much for your pitch.